This is Twit. All right. So when we're all stressed out, what do we turn to, Ken, to blow the off? The Linux show. No. Oh. You messed well, up the segue. I like to, I like we to blow play around. <laughs> I like to play around. Uh, but we've got some good news coming from uh, Liam Dahl and XDA's Simon Bat. They both wrote about the latest Steam beta simplifying gaming on Linux. According to Liam, at some point recently, Valve updated the Steam beta client with a change to the way Proton is enabled, making Linux gaming easier. Currently, there's still an option in the stable Steam client that you need to manually check to enable Steam Play or, or using Proton for all other titles. This is something of a leftover from when Proton was initially revealed and only worked for a specific set of games on Valve's whitelist. It now covers what Valve set by default for Steam Deck and Steam OS verification. The For All Other Titles option is gone in the latest beta. You can still get into the settings and tweak which version of Proton you want to use for a particular game. Apparently, Valve has managed to get Proton working well with its entire library. This should mean Linux users don't have to activate options or guess which Proton version is needed for a game. Just boot up Linux, load Steam, and play. <laughs> now, as Simon put it, gaming on Linux is here to stay. Don't take my word for it, folks. Read uh, both uh, Liam and S Simon's uh, articles. I've got the link in our show notes. Yeah, very interesting. So Steam, is, Valve is confident enough in Proton that they're just opening the floodgates and you get to run all your games through it. And I uh, notice with mine uh, that uh, looks like some of the games uh, give me a Proton hot, hot fix as a uh, one to go with. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I've had better experience with Proton than Native for quite some time now. In fact, the bigger problem yep. I've seen with Proton, Steam, Linux in general is people online asking, hey, I can't get this to work. Oh, you got to go into properties and go here and enable Proton. So, I mean, I think this would be a world of difference. Yeah, it'll help. It'd be great. Um, there's still there's still the anti cheat problem though, right? Yeah, that's still an ongoing thing, where where games are uh, throwing out anti cheat or they they have anti cheat features that expect to find the Windows kernel and when they don't, they just kind of freak out. Yeah, I saw. Or, I want, I want to be able to talk straight to the kernel. Period. It, right. Right. I saw it on Reddit this week. I don't remember the game, but uh, what it just popped up an error said. Uh, change your OS or use a different OS or something like that and and kick them out. It wasn't that it wouldn't work on it, probably, but yeah, it would it it likely would work without the anti cheat layer. Um but you know, your online games, man, you can't you gotta have it. Because the games that don't, they're popular you know, anywhere close to popular, people will cheat. They'll install they'll install cheats and hacks. And then the next thing you know, you're trying to fight in a death match and somebody is invincible and flying and, you know, holding a tank and has to click a button and you die and it's just no fun. And even with with the anti cheat, it still happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh. it does. That's true. Nothing is nothing is perfect. I'm uh, not cheating when I die. <laughs> I'm cheating death when I don't die. Yeah. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>